go ahead and get this unboxed. Uh, this is a genuine uh, Subaru part. Let's see what comes in the bag. Box. Interesting tape that's on here. Like it comes with a few screws, some instructions in Japanese. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, anybody can do this. Uh, it should only be a few screws, and we use the OEM piece from the center console. Looks like they gave us two flat top and two button head screws. a piece of plastic trim that's going to go on the piece that we're adding since it's an extension off of the current one. Ooh. Nice piece of expensive plastic. Alright. So uh, now that we got this unboxed, uh, I'm going to take you into the car. We'll see what we have and what we're working with. Essentially what we're doing is making a however long this is extension. Uh, in the vehicle for the armrest just because it sits so low in the car um, and also it gives you a decent amount of cubby space too. So if you take a look inside the vehicle the armrest is super far down. And uh, my arm doesn't reach it at all, so if you wanted to sit here and rest your arm, you can't. It's too low. So we're going to be taking this piece, adding it to the top of the other one, uh, doing that install quick. And this should raise it up a few inches here, but this is current height. Okay guys, we're in the back of the car. What we're going to be doing is taking off this top piece, putting this uh, extension in its place, and putting this top cover back on. Okay, so now that I got the plastic cover off, um, there is one screw that needs to come out, and then uh, we can pull this piece back. I might need to take out my WeatherTech floor mounts to be able to pull this back, but we'll see. that off to the side um, and I believe yeah, it just pulls back so if you take a look just pull this back and we can then gain access to what we need so there's three Phillips heads up top we're going to take those off and that'll allow the uh, leather armrest to come off Okay, now that it's off, this should just pop up and pull out. So there are two plastic pins here that come up through these holes, um, and then the other three or four of the screws. Okay, so... We have four screws that they provided. Um, 
the two button head screws. There's, the, there's two of these, which are the button head screws. Oh, this isn't going to focus. So they provided two sets of screws. We have the button head ones and the flat ones. So we're going to start out with the button head ones to secure the leather armrest to the top, and these secure the plastic piece on the back. Okay, so we're going to take the leather back, this here. Just good, take the two button head ones and screw this in. suggest using a drill on this just for the fact that it's cheap plastic and it would probably crack, but you do you. So that seems to be working pretty good. Uh, the next step, uh, on the back of this, there are two holes here, uh, and that is for this piece. So what we need to do is pop this cover on. So it clicks into place. You'll see it looks like this, but on the bottom here, there's two openings, and that's where these last two screws go. This is plastic, so make sure that they're lined up and not cross threading these in there. So that's it fully assembled. Now we just gotta put it in the car. Uh, pretty straightforward, um, and this is a great way to add an extra compartment. Looks on the back. Awesome. Let's get back in the car. Uh, we're gonna go fasten this down to the original mounting points uh, with the original three screws. And then we have one last screw where the other plastic trim piece is right below this, and then we're done.
intake sounds great. Um, we had the intake on uh, since uh, 4th of July. Uh, my brother and I installed it. Uh, it's been great. Haven't had any issues. I love the way it sounds personally. Some people might think it's a little bit too loud. This is the, uh, the Cobb Big SF intake, but I think it sounds great. Um, it's really one of those things if you don't like the noise there's no reason to buy an intake unless you're going up over I don't know 400 horsepower which we are not going to be doing so for me I just like the way it sounds there are a lot of cars out right now I think the combination of that with the uh, Nvidia R400 that I have in the car is great. I love it. I think it sounds phenomenal. Um, I do really like the way the Tomei sounds, but I feel like it's a bit too loud. And at some point, I am going to be getting a J pipe for this vehicle. And I think a Tomei, even with a catted J pipe, is just a bit too loud for me for daily driving. The R400 is uh, it's pretty loud just with the stock J pipe. It's it's not obnoxious though, and there's not unbearable drone. Uh, it does have a little bit of drone, but not enough that it drives me nuts. So, but yeah, this is fantastic. I am thoroughly enjoying that I picked this up. I would highly recommend if the armrest has been something bothering you.